So in this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to add availability, edit availability or change settings for an appointment type, troubleshooting and calendar conflicts, how to view client the, the client scheduling page and also send a link for clients, and then how to block off time for vacation or whatever you need to block off time for. First, I'm going to go to business settings from the menu bar on the left and click on availability. So it takes me right there because that's the top option. Now at the top here, we've got an uh, you can create a new calendar and this is something you would do if you had another employee using the space at the same time. But since there's just one person for down to, do down to earth dog lady, we're going to keep it to just the one calendar. So let's look at settings really quickly. So this is the email that goes with this calendar. Um, these are the appointment types that apply to this calendar. You'll notice it's all of them. And let's look at scheduling. And here's we can see the direct scheduling link. There's an iframe. And we can click on the link and it takes us right here. You can see all the appointment options. And right now you're seeing all of this information because I'm logged in as a client. So let's go back. I'm going to close that and we'll look at scheduling limits. So um, clients cannot schedule a new appointment um, with less than 48 hours in advance and they can't schedule more than 90 days or about three months into the future. And this can be easily changed by just putting the cursor in there. Um, you can also prevent canceling or changing appointments with less than 48 hours notice in advance. So we can see the, um, that it will the calendar will display start times for appointments every 50, 50 minutes. Um, we can change this. Um, I'm going to let it be auto and it's going to reflect the different um, types of appointments. So that's this one. Uh, your appointment type durations will determine the interval. So right now it's set at 50 minutes, but if I had something that was longer or shorter, we would see something different there. We're allowing clients to reschedule their own appointments. We're allowing clients to cancel their own appointments and allowing clients to edit intake forms after scheduling. So you don't have, we'll go over intake forms later. All right, back to availability. So now on the right here, we've got availability by type groups. Right now you can see that I have a different group for each type of event. And that's because each one has a different schedule. Um, but I'm going to show you in a little bit here how you can change all of this. So let's start with consultations. So right now, you can see that this calendar has regular hours every week. So if a client chooses a 30-minute consultation, um, they will see options to schedule a 5, 5.50, 6.40, 7.30, or 8.20 consultation. Um, and that is because I have, I'm just going to show really quickly here. If we look at the consultation, there is 10 minutes of padding before and after. So if I have back-to-back -back consultations, I'm not going to have people coming and going at the same time, especially if I have dogs that I don't want meeting each other. So I can change this and I'll go over that in another tutorial. All right, so let's say I want to add availability on Thursday. So this we're gonna have another 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. and it's that easy. You just click on the day, type in the time and hit enter or click outside of it and there it is. It's in. So um, I can save. It's important to save those regular hours. Now they're all there and you can see in the calendar below um, it's showing those availabilities on the month view. Okay, so now I want to look at the availability for a different group. I'm going to click on this link here and you notice here this box is highlighted and there's a little line showing that that is what we're looking at right now. So I'm going to click on the hours for this group being pack hikes, Monday pack hikes. You can see there it is, 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. That is my availability. Um, under the Monday pack hike, um, this is a pretty straightforward schedule. I've got the Monday for the Monday pack hikes, 10 a.m. to 2.30. I have a half hour buffer afterwards that I've built in. So Mondays are free after three o'clock. 
Uh, but here's this, an important thing about pack hikes. So an appointment is normally for one person, but obviously I can have a group for the pack hike. So I'm going to click this link, Limits, and it opens a little panel. And here I've set it, I can have four appointments, or four dogs, as the case may be, and a maximum of one appointment per day. So I'm only doing one pack hike on Monday, and I can have four dogs in that one appointment. Um, and so I can change... I can change that at any point for any of those pack hikes, but right now you can see it's four at a time, one per day. If I look at Wednesday, oops, Friday, four per time, one per day, same for Wednesday here. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to talk about how to add availability where, for example, let's say I think that there's, there's consistent overlap between consultations and private lessons and I actually could do private lessons or consultations um, any of the times. Maybe I'll make a private lesson option that isn't at the um, at the training facility for later but let's assume this private lesson is only at the training facility and the consultations are as well. So I'm gonna click on this and drag it all the way down to private lessons. So now, if I select this group, I can see I've got Sunday right now that I could have private lessons or consultation. Now I can add back add my Monday evenings back in. So if a client chooses a private lesson for one hour, they will see availability at 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 20, 2, 30, um, each of these spots unless someone else is blocking it. And so if I choose a consultation, same thing. I'm going to see all of these time slots. And so the nice thing is that the, the consultations are a half hour and private lessons are an hour. So if somebody were to, let's see, on Monday, if somebody were to schedule a consultation at 5, then private lesson availability would start at 5.30 and I wouldn't have to worry about a big gap in time. Um, of course, if someone schedules for 5 and then 6, there's a half hour in between that a private lesson wouldn't fit into. But this is, these are some of the trade-offs, flexibility versus total efficiency. So right now, that's what I've got for my availability for private lessons and consultations. Okay. So now I'm going to go over a little bit of troubleshooting. Let's look at the Monday pack hike. And let's say I am going to be really ambitious and set my time in time for 2 o'clock because I want to get some, some puppy play groups in. So I'm going to save that. And now look at this. This is all grayed out, not available. So I'm not sure what happened because when it was 2.30, I'm going to save that. Everything's fine. So let's do a little digging and see what's, what's wrong here. Alright, so we can view the day. So I'm looking at the 7th. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so we're back in our view here for week, uh, for the day rather, on Monday, November 7th. And I've got Monday Pack Hike is set until 2 p.m but I can't quite tell what's wrong there. So let's go back. Oh, and if I scroll all the way to the top, I can see there's a note here to me. Uh, the duration plus padding for this appointment type doesn't fit. Let's check that really quick and see what it is. So if I go over to my appointment types, I look at Monday Pack Hike, I've got four hours with 30 minute padding after. Okay, so I don't haven't actually allowed enough time on Monday to get to get everything done. So I need to either change my availability on Monday or change the amount of padding I need on my appointment types. And I think my padding is pretty important because I'm driving around. So I'm going to go ahead and change that back and save it. And there it is. Everything's fine now. Awesome. All right. Now one more thing. Let's say um, the puppy play group. We'll do it here. I don't have regular hours for the puppy play group. It's not happening every Tuesday and Thursday. So I'm going to uncheck this. Now, 
Switching to available for specific days will remove my current weekly hours. If I want to do that, I can say, I click this, say, yes, I want to remove my current weekly hours and switch. Okay. Now, it's pretty much the same as the week view. I'm just going to click on the days. And I'll set those hours. Hmm. All right, so let's take a look at the puppy playgroup and see what's going on. I notice for my limits, I have 10 bookings are allowed. So I can have 10 puppies in my playgroup. And I have set it uh, for appointments until fully booked. So let's see, um, I'm going to check my puppy playgroup. Three hours with 20 minutes padding after. So that actually, I think what I need to do is change this to 4.30. Hey, look at that. Okay, so now I'm just going to copy this. I can add availability anywhere I want. And that will show up on the client scheduling page, these dates that I have set individually. So it's a little bit easier to do um, calendars with uh, regular hours per week, but um, as you can see, you can do individual days. So maybe if you're doing a test, uh, testing a new thing and you don't want to commit to every week all the same hours, you can try a few days and see how it goes. I'm going to put that back to weekly for puppy playgroup, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it looks like I still have the hours that I set up when I was doing um, individual days. So I can keep those or I can delete them. And down here at the bottom, now that I've figured out all my availability, I've got a preview button. And that is going to show me what clients see. So I can close the preview or I can click view live. Here it is. This is the client scheduling page. Okay. Lastly, I want to cover how to block off time in your calendar if you're going on vacation or just need a break or to clear your schedule for whatever reason. So um, in the appointments section here under appointment calendar, if you look at the top, you can see this in the day view, the week view, and the month view. So I'm going to look at the month view. It's a little easier to get a, an overview. I can uh, click on the button for block. block. I'm going to block off multiple days uh, from the 21st through the 30th of November um, on that on the Down to Earth Dog Lady calendar, which is going to automatically block all of these events. And I just click block off time at the bottom, and that's set. All right, now I can see that I have successfully blocked off uh, Monday, November 21st through Wednesday, November 30th. Um, and so it's going to show that you can see blocked off time for this whole week. I can also click repeat and clear a regular day from my calendar. So, for example, if I need Saturday free, I can click S for Saturday and then give a month or day that that ends and so every Saturday nothing will show up on my calendar so that's a really easy way to just go in and make a blanket change to prevent people from scheduling instead of changing each and every individual appointment availability setting